there's a lot happening in the market right now. There's a lot of instability and a lot of people don't know what to expect over the next uh, 12 to 24 months with the crisis happening in Russia right now with uh, Vladimir Putin showing a lot of aggression towards the Ukraine and him uh, throwing out threats. We don't know if they're empty threats or not, but throwing out threats saying that there will be severe consequences if America or ev any other country gets involved and tries to step in and prevent him from carrying out his mission and agenda. What that mission agenda is, we have no idea. We don't know what's going inside of his head, but people that have been very close to him over the years are saying that he's not acting like himself. It seems as though he has kind of lost his marbles a little bit and he's uh, going on tilt. He's, he's doing things, he's, he has a erratic behavior, and they're not really sure what to expect. In this video, we're gonna cover some large companies that are pulling their manufacturing and pulling their business from Russia. Some of these con uh, companies you may be fam familiar with, some maybe not, but this is not an exhausted list by any means, but this is, a, this is a list of major businesses that are pulling their business from Russia. In the retail and consumer good sector, here's a list of companies. We have British American Tobacco. We have another uh, Japanese retail clothing company called Uniqlo. We have Unilever, who handles brands like Dove and Sunsilk. They're suspending all imports and exports. We have IKEA. IKEA is a major brand that uh, deals with a lot of furniture and prod uh, consumer products like that. They're pulling their uh, a lot of their retail chains and not doing any more business with Russia. We have TJX. TJX owns TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're promising to devise its equity ownership in Familia, which is an off-price real retailer with more than 400 stores in Russia. They're pulling their stores from Russia. We have H&M, which has about 170 stores in Russia. They're pausing sales as did Nike as well. Nike has about 116 stores. We have Canada Goose, which uh, is a large wholesaler that creates jackets and winter wear. Uh, their e-commerce is stopping in Russia as well. We have the shoe brand Adidas. Adidas is suspending sales in Russia. They're cutting 1% from its existing revenue growth this year. The company has about 500 stores in Russia. In the energy sector, we have uh, companies like Shell that will exit its joint venture with Gazprom, which is a Russian nat natural gas giant. We have BP, which sells its nearly 20% stake in Rosneft, uh, the Russian state-controlled oil company. We have ExxonMobil, who is also pulling their brand from the natural gas projects out there. In finance, we have Dutch Bank that is said to be dwindling down its remaining business closing a bunch of uh, operations happening over there. We have Goldman Sachs, who's also winding down its business in Russia and pulling back any type of business going forward with any type of uh, businesses or uh, large elite families in Russia as well. We have Western Union, who's suspending all of its operations in Russia as well, and several other large companies. McKinsey and Company is another one. Boston Consulting Group is another one. American Express, very familiar company, MasterCard, Visa, Citigroup has about 3,000 employees in Russia and they're going to be uh, stopping all business happening in Russia uh, very soon. In the food sector, okay, uh, lots of restaurant brands including Burger King are stopping the support of any type of business in uh, Russia. We have Mars, the maker of M&Ms and Snicker suspending new investments in Russia. Little Caesar, the pizza place, suspending all operations in Russian stores. And then we have Heineken. We have McDonald's saying that it's temporary closing. It's nearly 850 locations in Russia, halting its operations there. Sorry, guys, you won't be able to get any more Big Macs in Russia for the time being. We have Starbucks saying that they're closing locations in Russia as well. Um, and uh, PepsiCo, they're going to be stopping the sale of soda uh, in Russia and would be continuing their dairy and baby food projects because they're actually calling that a humanitarian effort. Yum Brand is now closing 70 company-owned uh, KFC restaurants 
and all 50 franchise-owned Pizza Hut restaurants as well. In the media sector, we have Netflix suspending its service throughout Russia. We also have Walt Disney and Sony and also Warner Brothers pausing the release of movies in Russia. Disney also paused all of its business operations in the country. In the tech sector, we have Google, YouTube, uh, and, and several more. We have Sony, Amazon Services. We have Microsoft and Apple also pausing services. We also have IBM that is suspending business in Russia. We have Uber. They said they're trying to accelerate its divestment from a Russian internet company called Yandex. Yandex is another ride-sharing platform in Russia that Uber's connected to, and they're trying to divest uh, that company, those companies. In the travel and logistics sector, we have the Hyatt Hotel. We also have the Hilton Hotel Chains, suspending development of work in that country as well. The Hilton will close its corporate office in Moscow. Amongst others, we have UPS, FedEx, and DHL that are suspending shipments to and from uh, Russia and all operations within Russia, Airbus and Boeing, which are the manufacturers of the big 747 uh, airplanes, are suspending the supply of parts, maintenance, and technical support uh, in the service of Russian airplanes. American Airlines, Delta Airlines, United Airlines uh, cut ticket sale partnerships with Russian Airlines as well. All three airlines are also stopping flying to Russia. In the manufacturing sector, we have Stellantis, the maker of Jeep, Fiat, and uh, Pagot vehicles. Uh, Caterpillar, which is which makes construction vehicles. They're stopping their earth-moving equipment and pausing all manufacturing in Russia. Hitachi, the Japanese industrial company, said it's suspending uh, exports to Russia and pausing all manufacturers. This video was brought to you by Cmoto. That's X-E-M-O. T-O. And this stock pick for today is called Inca One Gold. Inca One Gold is an established gold producer operating two fully permitted gold mineral processing facilities in Peru. The company possesses a combined 450 tons per day permitted operating capacity at its two fully integrated plants. Chala One and Cori One, and has produced more than 116,000 ounces of gold and generated over $165 million in sales from its processing operations. Inca One is led by an experienced and capable management team that has established the company as a trusted leader in servicing permitted small scale and artisanal miners. Peru is one of the world's largest producers of gold and its ASM sector is estimated by the government officials to be valued in billions of dollars annually. Inca One Gold Corp had record January sales from its Chala One and Cori One plants, and comparatively year over year production numbers represent consolidated operations from both facilities. You can find more information about this stock pick of the day at stockwatch.com, and you, you can look up the ticker symbol I-N-C-A, that's for Inca One Gold Corp. If you found this video informational, I'd appreciate you clicking that like button, dropping a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Russia and Ukraine invasion. Let me know if you think that they're gonna sustain some major economical damage due to all of these major companies pulling their business from Russia, or if you think they'll be fine in time. As always, I appreciate you joining us for this video. Make sure you subscribe down below. Share this video on your social media networks. And until the next video, my friends, live well, laugh loud, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next video.